welcome to a video about one of the world's most famous and fascinating animals, the giraffe. With their long necks, graceful movements and distinctive markings, giraffes have captured the imagination of people all over the world. But did you know that giraffes also face significant threats such as habitat loss, poaching, and climate change? Explore the world of giraffes. Sit back, relax, and join us on a journey to discover the wonders of these incredible creatures. Giraffes are mammals known for their long necks, which can grow up to six feet long. Native to Africa, it is found in savannas, grasslands and open forests. Giraffes are the tallest living animals on Earth, with adult males reaching heights of up to 18 feet. They have a unique coat pattern that helps them blend in with their surroundings and protect them from predators. Giraffes are herbivores, feeding mainly on leaves, flowers and fruits. They have a unique circulatory system that prevents blood flow from concentrating in their heads when they bend over to drink water and communicate with each other through body language. Etymology. The word giraffe is believed to come from the Arabic word zarafa, which means fast runner. It is believed that this stems from the giraffe's long legs, which allow it to move quickly across the African savanna. The English word giraffe was first recorded in the early 17th century and has gradually become the standard term for this animal in English. In some African languages, giraffes are known by other names that reflect their physical characteristics and behavior. For example, the giraffe is called twigger in Swahili, which means one that stretches or walks upright. In other languages, giraffes are known as camelopards. This is a name that reflects their physical resemblance to camels and leopards. However, this name is not widely used today. Taxonomy. The giraffe is a member of the giraffe family, and there are only two species in the wild, the giraffe and the akapi. These two species are the only remaining members of a once diverse family that includes several extinct species. The scientific name for the giraffe is Giraffa camelopardalis, reflecting its similarity to camels and leopards. The species is further divided into nine subspecies, distinguished by differences in coat he markings and geographical distribution. The nine subspecies are Southern Giraffe, Giraffa giraffa, Maasai Giraffe, Giraffa tipulskirchi, Northern Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis, Reticulated Giraffe, Giraffa reticulata, Kurdifan Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis antiquorum, Nubian Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis camelopardalis, West African Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis peralta, Rothschild backquote s Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis Rothschild i, Thornycroft backquote s Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis Thornycrofti. Subspecies should be reclassified as separate species. However, this issue has not yet been resolved and continues to be recognized as a subspecies in current classification systems. Evolution. Giraffe evolution is the subject of ongoing scientific research and debate. Giraffes are thought to have evolved from a group of even toad ungulates that lived in Africa about 30 million years ago. Fossil evidence suggests that early giraffe-like animals had necks and legs of similar length, and may have resembled modern deer and antelope more than giraffes. About 10 million years ago, giraffes began to evolve into long necks, thought to have evolved through a process of sexual selection. This theory states that males with longer necks are more capable of competing with females. Over time, long-necked males were able to pass the gene on successfully, and the trait became more widespread among the population. Giraffes have many other unique adaptations that help them survive in their environment. For example, their long legs and long necks allow them to eat leaves and other plants that other animals cannot reach. They also have their own circulatory system that helps regulate blood flow to their brains to prevent them from fainting when drinking water with their heads down. Today giraffes are the largest living animals on Earth and are found only in sub-Saharan Africa. Giraffes went through a series of speciations that gave rise to the various subspecies we see today. Despite impressive adaptations, giraffes face many threats in the wild, including habitat loss, poaching and climate change. As a result, many giraffe subspecies are now considered vulnerable or endangered. Species and subspecies. As previously mentioned, giraffes fall into nine subspecies recognized by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, Red List of Threatened Species. These variants are Southern Giraffe, Giraffa Giraffa. This subspecies lives in Southern Africa, including Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. They have a rounded or mottled coat pattern with large, irregular spots. Maasai Giraffe, Giraffa Tipulskirchi. This subspecies is found in East Africa, including Kenya, Tanzania, and southern Somalia. They have a jagged, vine-like coat pattern with irregular, sharp-edged spots. Northern Giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis. This subspecies is found in African countries such as Chad, Cameroon, Central African Republic, and South Sudan. It has a coat pattern similar to that of the southern giraffe, but with smaller, irregular spots. Reticulated Giraffe, Giraffa reticulata. This subspecies is found in northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia, and Somalia. 
They have a web or net-like coat pattern with small polygonal spots. Curtifan giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis antiquorum. This subspecies is found in Central and Western Africa, including Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, and Sudan. They have a coat pattern similar to giraffes, but with more rectangular spots. Nubian giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis camelopardalis. This subspecies is found in East Africa, including Ethiopia and South Sudan. It has a coat pattern similar to that of the Rothschild's giraffe, but with more irregular and jagged spots. West African giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis peralta. This subspecies is found in West Africa, including Niger and Mali. It has a coat pattern similar to that of the Kurdifan giraffe, but the spots are small and irregular. Rothschild's giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis Rothschildi. This subspecies is found in Central and East Africa, including Kenya and Uganda. They have a coat pattern similar to Nubian giraffes, but with larger, more rectangular spots. Thornycroft's giraffe, Giraffa camelopardalis thornycrofti. This subspecies is only found in Zambia in the Luangwa Valley. It has a hair pattern similar to that of the Maasai giraffe, but with smaller, more irregular spots. Each subspecies has unique characteristics such as coat pattern, geographical distribution, and habitat preferences. However, all giraffes share certain physical and behavioral traits, such as long necks, unique circulatory systems, and social behaviors. Characteristics Giraffes are iconic African mammals with some distinctive physical traits. Here are some of the giraffe's main characteristics. Size Giraffes are the tallest living animals on Earth, with adult males standing at 5.5 meters 18 feet, and females at 4.5 meters 14 feet. Big Their long necks can add up to 2 meters 6 feet to their overall size. Coat pattern, each giraffe subspecies has a unique coat pattern consisting of large, irregularly shaped spots of various colors, usually brown or orange. Patterns are used to help giraffes blend in with their surroundings and to hide from predators. Long neck, giraffes have very long necks, up to 2 meters long. The neck has the same number of vertebrae as most mammals, but the bones are elongated, and the muscles and blood vessels are specially adapted to support the weight of the head, allowing giraffes to grow leaves and other food sources on trees. We collect and make it reachable. Long legs, in addition to their long necks, giraffes also have long legs, allowing them to run at speeds of up to 60 km per hour and stride while running. Unique circulatory system, giraffes have a unique circulatory system specially adapted to their long necks. The heart is large and powerful, with a series of valves in the blood vessels that regulate blood flow to the brain. When the giraffe lowers its head to drink water, the valve prevents excess blood from flowing into the brain and allows it to drain out of the brain. Social behavior, giraffes are social animals, usually living in herds of up to 20 individuals, although larger herds have been observed in some areas. Females and their offspring tend to form stable herds, while males tend to act solitary, demonstrating dominance through strength. Overall, the giraffe's unique physical characteristics and adaptations allow it to survive in its African habitat. In its African habitat, it eats leaves and other vegetation on trees and must avoid predators such as lions and hyenas. Head. The giraffe's head is distinctive and well adapted to its long neck and special diet. The main features of the giraffe's head are Long neck. The giraffe's neck is actually not longer than that of other mammals, but it appears longer due to the elongated cervical vertebrae. A giraffe's seven cervical vertebrae are elongated and can be up to 10 inches long. This allows the giraffe to reach food sources high in trees. Small head. Despite having a long neck, a giraffe's head is relatively small compared to the rest of its body. This is because the giraffe's brain is located at the top of the neck rather than the head, which reduces the weight the neck has to support. Tongue. Giraffes have a prehensile tongue up to 18 inches long, which they use to grab leaves and pull them into their mouths. The tongue is also covered with a tough, leathery layer that protects it from thorns and other tough plants. Teeth. Giraffe teeth are adapted to a special diet of leaves and other vegetation. They have 32 teeth, but the incisors and canines are smaller and are used only for gripping and tearing leaves. The rough surfaces of the molars and premolars allow giraffes to grind hard vegetation. Ossicones, on the giraffe's head he has two ossicons, horn-like structures, which are actually bony protrusions covered with skin and fur. Ossicones are used by males to establish dominance over other males during mating season. Overall, the giraffe's head is a specialized adaptation that allows it to feed on tall vegetation and survive in its African habitat. Its long neck, prehensile tongue, and specialized teeth are key features that allow it to eat meals inaccessible to most other mammals. Neck. The giraffe's long neck is one of the giraffe's most distinctive features and helps the animal reach vegetation high in trees. The main features of the giraffe's neck are Turning. A giraffe's neck has just seven vertebrae, which extend to allow it to carry food up to 20 feet off the ground. Each vertebra is up to 25 centimeters long and is separated by a thick layer of cartilage. 
Muscles and tendons, a giraffe's neck muscles are very strong and can support a head weight of up to 270 kilograms, 600 pounds. The muscles and tendons in the neck are specially designed to regulate blood pressure and prevent blood from flowing to the brain when the giraffe lowers its head to drink. Vascular, the giraffe's neck contains an intricate network of blood vessels that regulate blood flow to and from the brain. The blood vessels have thick walls that keep them from collapsing when the giraffe raises its head, and a series of valves that control blood pressure. Contraction action, during the breeding season, male giraffes use their neck as a weapon in a behavior called necking. They shake their heads at each other, trying to throw the other off balance. This behavior helps establish dominance and access to partners. Overall, the giraffe's long neck is a specialized adaptation that allows it to access food sources that are inaccessible to most other mammals. Its powerful muscles, unique blood vessels, and specialized vertebrae are key features that enable this adaptation. Neck. The giraffe's long neck is one of its most unmistakable highlights and is adjusted to assist the animal reach vegetation that's tall up in trees. Here are a few key characteristics of the giraffe's neck. Vertebrae. The giraffe's neck contains as it were seven vertebrae, which are stretched to allow the creature to reach nourishment that's up to 6 meters 20 feet off the ground. Each vertebra can be up to 10 inches long and is isolated by a thick layer of cartilage. Muscles and ligaments. The giraffe's neck muscles are amazingly capable and are able of supporting the weight of the animal's head, which can be up to 270 kilograms 600 pounds. The muscles and ligaments within the neck are too uncommonly adjusted to control blood weight and avoid blood from hurrying to the brain when the giraffe brings down its head to drink water. Blood vessels. The giraffe's neck contains a complex range of blood vessels that are adjusted to control blood stream to and from the brain. The vessels have thick dividers that anticipate them from collapsing when the giraffe raises its head, and are arrangement of valves that offer assistance control blood weight. Necking behavior. Male giraffes utilize their necks as weapons amid mating season in a behavior called necking. They swing their necks at each other and attempt to thump their rival off adjust. This behavior makes a difference set up dominance and get to to mates. Overall, the giraffe's long neck could be a specialized adjustment that permits it to get to nourishment sources that are inaccessible to most other warm-blooded animals. Its effective muscles, one-of-a-kind blood vessels, and specialized vertebrae are all key highlights that make this adjustment conceivable. Legs, locomotion and posture. The giraffe's legs, movement, and pose are moreover adjusted to its interesting body shape and bolstering propensities. Here are a few key characteristics of the giraffe's legs and pose. Legs, the giraffe's legs are long and effective, with each leg being around 6 feet long. The front legs are somewhat longer than the back legs, which gives the giraffe its characteristic inclining back. The legs are backed by solid bones, and the giraffe strolls on the tips of its hooves. Motion, in spite of their long legs, giraffes are not especially quick runners and can as it were run at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour for brief separations. In any case, their long strides permit them to cover a parcel of ground rapidly when they have to be. Pose, the giraffe's pose is interesting due to its long neck and inclining back. When the giraffe stands or strolls, it holds its head tall and its neck in an S shape, which permits it to see predators from a separate. The inclining back makes a difference the giraffe keep up adjust whereas it bolsters on tall trees. Footprint, the giraffe's impression is particular and is formed like a heart with two flaps. The shape makes a difference convey the weight of the giraffe over a bigger surface range, which anticipates it from sinking into delicate ground. By and large, the giraffe's legs, pose, and movement are all adjusted to assist it move and nourish in its African living space. Its long legs and inclining back offer assistance it reach tall vegetation, whereas its particular walk and interesting impression are adjustments to its body shape and measure. Internal systems. The giraffe's inner frameworks are moreover adjusted to its interesting body shape and measure. Here are a few key characteristics of the giraffe's inside frameworks, cardiovascular system. The giraffe's cardiovascular framework is adjusted to assist it keep up blood stream to its head, indeed when its neck is expanded. The heart is huge and effective, and the blood vessels within the neck are thick and versatile, with an arrangement of valves that anticipate blood from hurrying to the head when the giraffe brings down its neck. Respiratory system, the giraffe's respiratory framework is additionally adjusted to its long neck. The trachea, or windpipe, is prolonged and contains a few little folds that offer assistance to anticipate harm when the neck is expanded. The lungs are moreover huge and powerful, with a framework of disgust sacs that permit the giraffe to require in and remove disgust rapidly. Stomach-related system, the giraffe's stomach-related framework is adjusted to assist it process tough, stringy vegetation. The stomach is separated into four compartments, each with a diverse work within the absorption prepare. The primary compartment, called the rumen, is where microbes break down the extreme cellulose in plant fabric. Apprehensive system, the giraffe's apprehensive framework is adjusted to its estimate and tallness. 
The spinal line is stretched to suit the long neck, and the brain is large and complex, with a exceedingly created visual framework to assist the giraffe distinguish predators from a separate. In general, the giraffe's inner frameworks are specialized adaptations that permit it to outlive in its African territory. Its cardiovascular, respiratory, stomach-related, and apprehensive frameworks are all adjusted to its one-of-a-kind body shape and feeding propensities, and allow it to flourish in an environment that's aloof to most other well-evolved creatures. Behavior and Ecology The giraffe's conduct and environment are too curiously and one-of-a-kind. Here are a few key characteristics. Social behavior, giraffes are for the most part social creatures and live in free bunches, called towers or ventures, of up to 20 people. They have a various leveled social structure, with guys building up dominance through necking challenges, in which they utilize their necks as weapons to compete for get to to females. Nourishing propensities, giraffes are herbivores and bolster on an assortment of vegetation, counting takes off, shoots, and blooms. Their long necks permit them to reach tall branches that other herbivores cannot get to, and they can moreover eat takes off off the ground. Giraffes can go for weeks without drinking water, getting most of their dampness from the vegetation they devour. Habitat, giraffes are found in savannas, prairies, and forests in sub-Saharan Africa. They are well adjusted to this living space, which is characterized by hot temperatures, regular dry seasons, and a blend of open prairie and forest. Predators, grown-up giraffes are not regularly preyed upon by other creatures, as their measure and capable kicks make them troublesome targets. Be that as it may, youthful giraffes are powerless to predators such as lions, panthers, and hyenas. Communication, giraffes utilize an assortment of vocalizations and body dialect to communicate with each other. They make boisterous grunts and snorts, and guys can moreover deliver an interesting sound called a murmuring clamor amid romance shows. They moreover utilize their long necks to flag to other giraffes, with guys utilizing their necks to set up dominance and females utilizing their necks to flag when they are prepared to mate. By and large, the giraffe's conduct and biology are intriguing adjustments to its African living space. Its social conduct, bolstering propensities, territory inclinations, and communication strategies all contribute to its survival and victory in this environment. Habitat and feeding. The giraffe's living space and nourishing propensities are critical perspectives of its science. Here are a few key characteristics. Living space. Giraffes are found in an assortment of territories all through sub-Saharan Africa, counting savannas, meadows, and forests. They are by and large found in regions with scattered trees and bushes, as these give the giraffes with nourishment and shade. Bolstering habits. Giraffes are herbivores and bolster on an assortment of vegetation, counting takes off, shoots, and blooms. Their long necks permit them to reach tall branches that other herbivores cannot get to, and they can too eat takes off off the ground. Giraffes have an adaptable tongue that can amplify up to 18 inches, which makes a difference them get a handle on and drag clears out from branches. They are too known to strip the bark off trees and chew on bones to get minerals. Water, giraffes can go for weeks without drinking water, getting most of their dampness from the vegetation they devour. Be that as it may, when water is accessible, giraffes will drink and are competent of drinking up to 12 gallons of water in a single session. Scrounging behavior, giraffes are particular foragers and lean towards certain species of trees and bushes over others. They will frequently browse on acacias, which have long, sharp thistles that other herbivores cannot eat. Giraffes have moreover been watched to lock in in cross-browsing, where they reach over a bush or tree to eat takes off from the inverse side, lessening competition with other herbivores. Nourishing adaptations, the giraffe's long neck and legs are adjustments for coming to tall branches, but they moreover come with a few costs. Giraffes have a generally little and contract esophagus, which can make gulping troublesome, and their long legs can make drinking and lying down ungainly. In any case, giraffes have adjustments such as specialized muscles and valves in their circulatory framework to assist them adapt with the tall blood weight in their necks when they twist down to drink or eat from the ground. Generally, the giraffe's living space and nourishing propensities are well adjusted to its African environment. Its capacity to bolster on an assortment of vegetation and go long periods without water have permitted it to outlive in ranges with regular dry spells, whereas its specific browsing and cross-browsing behavior have decreased competition with other herbivores. Social life. Giraffes are social creatures and live in free bunches called towers, which can comprise of as few as two people or as numerous as twenty. These bunches are regularly made up of females and they're youthful, but every so often incorporate guys as well. Male giraffes may shape their claim bunches, known as lone ranger crowds, which can comprise of up to a dozen people. Here are a few key characteristics of the giraffe's social life. Communication, giraffes communicate with one another through an assortment of implies, counting vocalizations, body dialect, and fragrance stamping. Guys have been watched emanating a profound, hacking sound amid romance, whereas females may transmit grunts, snorts, or murmurs when frightened. 
They too utilize their long necks to lock in in a shape of combat known as necking, where they swing their necks at one another in a appear of dominance. Reproduction. Female giraffes regularly grant birth to a single calf after an incubation period of 14 to 15 months. Calves are able to stand and run inside an hour of birth, and will nurture from their moms for up to a year. Giraffes reach sexual development at around 4 to 5 a long time of age. Group dynamics, giraffes inside a tower are not progressively organized, but instep have a free social structure where people come and go. Females in a tower may frame bonds with one another and spend time prepping each other, whereas guys in lone ranger crowds may lock in in perky competing. Range and region, giraffes don't have settled domains and will move over huge zones in look of nourishment and water. Towers will regularly cover in run, and people may switch bunches over time. Guys may build up a brief region amid the breeding season, but these are not protected forcefully. Predation, giraffes are preyed upon by lions, hyenas, and crocodiles, among other predators. When undermined, giraffes may utilize their capable legs to kick or run absent, and may too transmit a boisterous grunt or hack to caution other giraffes to peril. Generally, the social life of giraffes is characterized by free, liquid bunch flow and an assortment of communication methods. Their capacity to make bonds with one another and switch bunches over time has permitted them to adjust to changing natural conditions and stay in vital portion of the African biological system. Reproduction and parental care. Female giraffes ordinarily allow birth to a single calf after an incubation period of 14 to 15 months. The mother gives birth standing up, and the calf drops to the ground from a stature of almost 6 feet 1.8 meters or more, which regularly doesn't hurt the calf. Calves are able to stand and run inside an hour of birth, and will nurture from their moms for up to a year. Amid the primary few months of life, the calf spends most of its time lying down, covered up absent in vegetation to maintain a strategic distance from predators. The mother returns to the calf to nurture a few times a day. Male giraffes don't take an interest in raising their descendant. Be that as it may, the calves are not totally alone, as other females within the gather will frequently help in caring for them. This permits the mother to scavenge for nourishment and keep a post for predators without clearing out the calf alone for as well long. Female giraffes reach sexual development at around 4 to 5 a long time of age, whereas guys may not reach sexual development until they are 7 or 8 a long time ancient. Amid the breeding season, guys will lock in in combat with one another utilizing their necks in a behavior known as necking. This behavior is accepted to set up dominance and decide which guys will have get to to females for mating. Generally, the regenerative and parental care behavior of giraffes is adjusted to their one-of-a-kind physiology and social structure. The long incubation period, tall birth tallness, and expanded nursing period are all adjustments to the challenges of living within the savanna environment. By depending on a loose social structure and the help of other females within the bunch, giraffes are able to care for their offspring while maintaining a strategic distance from predators and scrounging for nourishment. Necking. Necking may be a behavior in male giraffes where they lock in in combat by utilizing their long necks to swing their heads at each other. This behavior is most commonly watched amid the mating season, when guys compete for get to to females. Necking can too happen exterior of the breeding season as a way for guys to set up dominance and social pecking order inside their bunch. Necking behavior starts with two guys drawing nearer each other and amplifying their necks. They at that point swing their heads and necks at each other, with the point of landing blows on their opponent's body. The blows can be conveyed with sufficient constraint to cause damage, and it isn't exceptional for guys to endure broken bones or other genuine wounds as a result of necking. Necking is accepted to serve a few capacities for male giraffes. It may offer assistance to set up dominance and social chain of command inside a gather, which can have critical suggestions for mating openings and get to two assets. Necking may too offer assistance to fortify the neck muscles and bone structure of the guys, which can be imperative for guarding against predators and scrounging for nourishment. Female giraffes do not typically engage in necking behavior, in spite of the fact that they may lock in in other shapes of combat such as kicking or headbutting. In general, necking is an imperative perspective of the behavior and social structure of male giraffes, and is closely tied to their mating and regenerative procedures. Mortality and health. Giraffes confront a few well-being challenges in their characteristic environment, counting predation, malady, and harm. Lions are the essential predators of giraffes, especially of youthful and helpless people. Giraffes are moreover vulnerable to a number of maladies, counting tick-borne ailments and viral diseases. One of the foremost outstanding highlights of giraffe physiology is their amazingly tall blood weight, which is fundamental to pump blood to their brains in spite of the long remove between their hearts and heads. In any case, this moreover makes them more helpless to conditions like hypertension, stroke, and heart illness. Giraffes are moreover inclined to osteoarthritis and other joint issues due to their huge measure and weight. 
In spite of these well-being challenges, giraffes have moderately long life expectancies for huge well-evolved creatures. They can live up to 25 a long time within the wild and indeed longer in confinement, where they may be insured from predators and have get to, to veterinary care. In later a long time, giraffes have confronted a critical decrease in populace due to environment misfortune, poaching, and other human exercises. A few subspecies of giraffes are as of now recorded as powerless or imperiled by the Universal Union for Preservation of Nature IUCN. Preservation endeavors, counting territory security and anti-poaching measures, are essential to guarantee the survival of these famous creatures within the wild. Relationship with humans. Giraffes have a long history of intelligent with people, dating back to antiquated times. In a few societies, giraffes were considered outlandish and important creatures, whereas in others they were chased for their meat, stows away, and other parts. Nowadays, giraffes are prevalent attractions in zoos and natural life parks around the world, and numerous individuals appreciate observing them in their normal living space on safari visits. In any case, giraffes too confront a number of dangers from human exercises, counting territory pulverization, poaching, and chasing for wear. In a few parts of Africa, giraffes are still chased for their meat and stows away, and their populaces have declined essentially in later decades. In expansion, territory misfortune and fracture due to human advancement and farming have too contributed to the decay of giraffe populaces. Preservation endeavors are underway to ensure giraffes and their environments, counting endeavors to decrease poaching, advance feasible arrive utilize homes, and set up insured zones. Open instruction and mindfulness campaigns are moreover vital for raising mindfulness approximately the significance of giraffe preservation and the dangers confronting these notorious creatures. Cultural significance. Giraffes have played a noteworthy part within the social history of numerous social orders. In a few African societies, giraffes were respected as images of elegance, magnificence, and intelligence. They were too related with eminence and riches, and were some of the time utilized as endowments to cement political organizations together or to curry favor with effective pioneers. In Western societies, giraffes were regularly shown in zoos and menageries as intriguing interests, and were some of the time included in work of art and writing. They too got to be prevalent subjects for children's books, toys, and other items. Nowadays, giraffes proceed to hold social centrality for numerous individuals around the world. They are regularly included in craftsmanship and writing, and are well-known images of elegance, class, and tenderness. They too serve as imperative ministers for natural life preservation, making a difference to raise awareness around the got to ensure imperiled species and their territories. Captivity. Giraffes are commonly kept in confinement in zoos and natural life parks around the world, where they serve as well-known attractions for guests. Captive breeding programs have moreover been built up to assist preserve imperiled giraffe populaces. In any case, keeping giraffes in confinement can display a few challenges. Giraffes require expansive walled-in areas with bounty of space to move around, as well as specialized diets and veterinary care. They are moreover social creatures and require companionship from other giraffes, which can be troublesome to supply in a few zoo settings. In expansion, transporting giraffes from their local living spaces to zoos and natural life parks can be upsetting and traumatic for the creatures. Captive giraffes may moreover confront well-being issues such as joint issues and corpulence, which can result from a need of workout and a eat less that does not imitate their common nourishing propensities. In spite of these challenges, numerous zoos and natural life parks have made endeavors to move forward the welfare of their captive giraffes, counting by giving bigger walled in areas, characteristic diets, and openings for socialization. A few zoos have moreover executed programs to teach the open almost giraffe preservation and the challenges confronting wild giraffe populaces. Exploitation. Giraffes have been misused by people for different purposes all through history. In a few societies, giraffes were chased for their meat, covers up, and other parts. They were moreover captured and traded to Europe and other parts of the world as intriguing interests for private collections, circuses, and zoos. In expansion to chasing and capture, giraffes have moreover been misused for their tails, which were utilized as fly swatters and for making bracelets and other embellishments. In a few societies, giraffe bone marrow and brain tissue were moreover utilized for restorative purposes. Nowadays, giraffes proceed to confront abuse and dangers from human exercises. In a few parts of Africa, giraffes are still chased for their meat and stows away, and their populaces have declined altogether as a result. The universal exchange in giraffe parts and items is additionally a developing concern, with a few nations sending out giraffe bones, skins, and other parts to markets in Asia and somewhere else. Endeavors are underway to address the issue of giraffe misuse, counting through expanded law authorization, open instruction, and the foundation of secured ranges. In expansion, preservation organizations are working to raise mindfulness around the significance of giraffe preservation and the dangers confronting these notorious creatures. 
Conservation status. Giraffes are right now recorded as defenseless on the Worldwide Union for Preservation of Nature IUCN, ruddy list of debilitated species. Agreeing to the IUCN, giraffe populaces have declined by more than 40% over the past 30 a long time, and there are presently less than 100,000 giraffes cleared out within the wild. The most dangers to giraffe populaces incorporate territory misfortune and fracture, poaching for their meat, stows away, and other parts, and respectful turmoil in a few parts of Africa. Climate alter and dry spell are two getting to be progressively noteworthy dangers, as they can lead to changes in vegetation designs and water accessibility, which can affect giraffe nourishing and breeding designs. Preservation endeavors are underway to secure giraffes and their territories, counting through the foundation of secured regions and preservation programs. In expansion, endeavors are being made to progress law enforcement and decrease poaching, as well as to extend open mindfulness and bolster for giraffe preservation. Be that as it may, more activity is required to guarantee the long-term survival of giraffe populaces. This incorporates tending to the root causes of environment misfortune and fracture, as well as tending to the drivers of poaching and unlawful exchange in giraffe parts. In expansion, it'll be vital to screen and adjust to the impacts of climate alter on giraffe populaces and their environments. Thanks for watching. I hope that the information provided will be helpful in creating an engaging and informative video about these magnificent animals.